Well set. Congratulations. Thank you. Headmaster Smythe, Mr. Hubeck, members of the Board of Trustees, family, friends, faculty, and fellow students, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here to celebrate Gilman's 116th Founders Day. I'm honored to be speaking to you all today on behalf of the Gilman class of 2016. When I started writing the speech, I talked with several students and teachers and asked how they would describe the class of 2016. Many of the students characterized our class as inventive in both imagination and initiative. At the same time, several teachers reminded me of our class's commitment to Gilman and its traditions. I came to realize that both views are correct. The class of 2016 is truly defined by its inventive pioneering mentality that accompanies a strong commitment to Gilman tradition. Throughout its time here at Gilman, the class of 2016 has been coming up with new ideas and challenging the world around it. Our selling of Chick-fil-A during lunch, arguably the staple of our class, provides a great example. In our sophomore year, when brainstorming ways to fundraise, we didn't just settle for the usual methods of selling spirit shirts and Christmas trees. In addition to this, we did what seemed impossible given the tight schedule of the school day and began shuttling dozens of Chick-fil-A sandwiches to Gilman between assembly and lunch. Soon, we were selling over 100 Chick-fil-A sandwiches each day in what became likely one of the most successful class fundraisers in Gilman's history. But our ability to come up with new ideas didn't start then. I've noticed it as long as I've been here, even in my very first year as a sixth grader. If any of you have ever been on Gilman's campus before school starts, you would have noticed that every morning, rain or shine, the turf is filled with middle school students playing soccer, football, and frisbee. That tradition was actually started by the class of 2016. As many of you know, Gilman Middle School offers not one, but two recesses per day. But for the class of 2016, that wasn't enough. So, as sixth graders, rather than sitting in the hallways waiting for school to begin, we decided we'd give ourselves an extra morning recess before the morning even started. And now, seven years later, that morning recess remains as a regular part of every school day. Of course, this isn't anything revolutionary, but it shows that even early on, the class of 2016 was challenging.